Dodge Ram Cummins today. There are the springs. They're pretty heavy. I'm putting some on here so it can't tip over the end. I mean, I don't think it's going to, but... Water plow manufacturers will not install a plow on a Dodge Cummins because they're so front heavy. Here's the situation. Got a broken leaf. Gone. Yeah, we might have a situation here with this hardware. Is we got new shackles, but no new bolts. So it can be a challenge getting a bolt out of a steel sleeve when it's rusted to it. And I asked for a hardware kit, and uh, it did not come with bolts. It just came with shackles. And U-bolts. We got new U-bolts to go in. These U-bolts are a one-time use. You're supposed to use them once and then toss them. Okay, so our U-bolts... Those look good. Bringing you the action shots. Ready? I think we'll put a stand under this axle at this point in case that bolt doesn't run out of there. We got our axle supported. They tend to break. Yeah, now that <clears throat> bolt is turning in there. We had to get a big T60 torque spit for this job. Right there, he, he was using a 24 mil socket on the other end. They kind of move it. It's walking out a little bit, and it's walking out. We're in the back here and this nut's way up in there and it's supposed to have an arm welded to it to keep it from turning. Well it's rusted off. So I think we can get a wrench in there though. <laughs> We're gonna have to repair this nut before we put it back together for ease of installation. So far we're doing pretty good for being able to take some rusty bolts apart. Everything has come apart so far. The center locating pin is going to be a tight fit. These other ones are rubber feet, so we're not going to do anything with that. Just that centering hole, just make sure we're, we're right. Tolerances are really tight on that with the new springs, so we'll get her cleaned up quick and make her look happy. Okay, so when reusing old hardware, 
sometimes you got to get a little creative and do stuff like this. Um, we're going to re-weld up this uh, tab. Welding. So there we go. Um, if it holds, it holds. Otherwise, we're back to holding the wrench on it. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I have to save all our old hardware because it didn't come with new hardware. And getting new hardware, I have found, has become a hard thing because these are kind of special. These springs look identical on both ends, so we don't think they're directional. New springs in there. We're getting all our hardware started before we start cranking anything down. He's sticking the fun nut in there. Torquing your bolts. Trying to do them evenly. Pull straight. The ends of these bolts are so long that the socket doesn't need to fit on it. So we're going to have to trim them up a little bit. Okay. That's good. That's good. I think we might have sheared off that tab. I thought that's what you were watching. I was. What? She just uh, zapped her right off of there. Look, I'm typing it right out. Looks like a plastic or rubber alignment pin. Uh, the other one did not have that, so that kind of threw me for a loop. You want a couple more? I'll give you a couple more. I'd go all day if you want. Probably would have paid somebody to do it. But, like we say here, it saved us a lot of money. So. Saturday versus paying somebody. I think we I think we did good. There she is on all fours. One set of leaf springs.